Here's a handheld cordless vacuum cleaner by Xiaomi's subsidiary called Rodme. And if the term flagship counts in this product area, then you're looking at the X20, Rodme's flagship model of vacuum cleaners, powerful suction, mopping, and even smart. Let's inspect. Hey everybody, welcome, it's Michael from the Tech for All channel and I have a great passion for tech, especially being smart and innovative. Vacuum cleaners are usually at least to me a little boring, but the X20 turned out to have some tricks up its sleeve and well justifies its long list of awards. I've had pretty high expectations, especially before tagging it and considering the price of $450. And in this video, I will of course tell you the truth about the hardware inside, all the accessories and the use cases and of course the performance. Looking at the price, the X20 is a little cheaper than the quite famous Dyson V11 and seems to attract with more accessories, sleeker design and this mop function. The X20 has begun its story via crowdfunding campaign and so did the predecessor, the F8 and both are actually very similar, with the F8 having pretty much the same characteristics, being a little louder, with only two motor modes and no mob function. And links to both of them you gotta find in the description below the video. The X20, which you may also find titled as Next Storm, can be ordered with or without the accessory pack, which is pretty convenient for those of you that don't need to pay for things you actually are not going to use. Alright, let's have a look at the package now. And this is the assembly targeted at the European region, with the power adapter being the only significant change across the globe. I was pretty happy to see everything packed into this not too large case, and inside Rodmi have found enough space to fit in all these accessories. There's the main machine, the electric brush, the metal connecting rod, mattress brush, there's a carbon fiber rolling brush as well, the extension hose, another brush, which is softer, filter, the expansion hose, the wall mount and the accessories about mopping, including the water tank. That's really a lot and I didn't even mention the spare microfiber mop cloth and the extra HEPA filter. And after all that, I was very excited to try it. Usually it will take you only seconds to find out whether you like a device or not, at least this is how it works with me, and these have been few of the nicest seconds about running piece of tech that actually sucks. I need to say some words about the specs. Rodmi give you 5 years of warranty for the motor, 2 years of warranty for the host, battery operation time promised is up to 65 minutes in normal mode, and in peak moments it can reach 145 air watt suction power. This is not as much as the Dyson V11, but it actually is a very reasonable amount and is really high. There are many conventional vacuums that have weaker suction power than that. I still keep this good old Rovanta model and when comparing the suction power, the X20 felt as strong as the conventional one. Know that often standard vacuums are rated with their consumed power, like 1800 watts, and the reality is that the suction power converts into around one tenth of the consumed power and that of course depends on the motor, the tubes, the filters and some other factors. Trying to say that within these close to 1500 grams you count on as much power as a cord based vacuum and you have the freedom to go anywhere at any point of time. Because the goal here is keeping it lightweight, the dustbin is only 400 milliliters, not much, but I can't say it's insufficient, I think it's just about right. The build quality is terrific and everything fits perfectly well and clicks and firmly connects. Very user-friendly, easy to figure out even if you haven't read the manual, which of course you should do. The accessories are also designed in a great way, you immediately feel the superb quality, the durability of the materials and you have a choice of different brushes should you need to cover different surfaces. Most of the accessories you can wash in case they get dirty and you can even wash the HEPA filter if that's needed. And the great news, a replacement HEPA filter you can get on AliExpress from the official Rodmi store for only $10, as opposed to the few more times expensive filters for other brands like Dyson. Check the description of the video for link to that product.
Let's power it on and have a look at what it can do. Apparently the degree of effectiveness is very high and I was very happy even with the lowest monitor setting, which was sucking way better than my older slim vac by vax. Going to the medium and respectively the maximum setting, it felt like using a mid-range vacuum cleaner. The battery life is the part I like the most. More than an hour at the 60 watt mode, which is the lowest grade, 80 watts are running for around 40 minutes and the maximum power, around 100 watts, will last for like 12 minutes. To prolong the battery life in time, avoid the most powerful setting because quicker drain results into higher battery temperature and this is never good for batteries, not even for the wonderful 2500 mAh battery pack that is inside here. To the awesome features that will make your cleaning even easier, look at the front light. There's an ambient sensor so it will automatically light up if it's dark. And besides the fact it looks cool, it is also very useful because of situations like these. Although after seeing the situation under the sofa, I can't say it feels better. There's also a mopping function and I still can't say whether I like it or not. Probably points more to the no. Because the vacuum is smart, here's the smartphone app and the most useful part is that you can see the battery charge percentage. So if you wait for the power to come into the vac, there's no need to physically go and check that out every 5 minutes. There also is filter information available. It is more like a timer to remind you to clean things up after a certain period of time, something that Xiaomi have on most of their smart robotic cleaners and tends to be very useful too. The things that I didn't quite like. The handle, it's actually very ergonomic and because of the design, it allows the vacuum to be a little shorter than the usual. But this position of the hand makes it feel heavier than it actually is. I wish the container was a little larger, but that is not necessarily bad, because cleaning it more often will reduce the chance of getting smell caused by moist objects. And the mop, while in theory it sounds great, there are big red letters on the stamp which state do not absorb water. So your only option is to go forward, single movement, or just don't use the suction while you're mopping. For what it's worth, there are two words I can associate the Rodmi X20 with. Quality and terrific. Fantastic suction power, high quality Samsung battery cells, only 1500 grams and so many extras and options that the cleaning is now more fun than ever. And to be fair, after Roborock has become Xiaomi's contender to show that iRobot is too expensive for what it's worth, now Rodmi proves that there are good alternatives to the $500 Dyson V11. Sure, $450 is also costly, but if you want to get similar performance at a lower price, Rodmi also have the F8 model, which is rocking and is not too far away from the X20 in terms of performance and costs more than 100 bucks less. So that's been it for this episode. Keeping your house cleaner is now easier than ever and having the reliable companion Rodmi X20 will certainly help a lot. Trying to say that I intend to use it from now on, so if you happen to have any questions about it or wonder if I'm happy with it after 6 months of usage, just ask in the comments below. If you liked it, then please use the links from the description besides the discount offered that greatly helps to support my channel. I'm Michael and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Cheers!